Okay, I will get over this. Because life goes on. And on. And on. And on. And we live in, in assisted living. But I was thinking also about the friends I lost over, over being raped. One who pointed out that it was, because I didn't realize at the time, because it's, it's a really heavy word. And it did start out consensually. But then I said, stop, you're hurting me. And he didn't. And she pointed it out and then, you know, told me how I could have prevented it. And no, I couldn't have. And so I was like, I, I can't do this. And I don't know if she'll ever be ready to be my friend again. I kind of tried to extend the olive branch. I was like, hey, um, we can not ever talk about it. And I'd love to have you back because you are a good friend. And she was like, yeah, I was a good friend. And you kind of spat in my face. And I was like, I'm sorry that you feel that way. I'm... I really didn't mean to hurt you, I, I can't, it wasn't my fault, and if we don't talk about it, we, anyway, point is, the same friend, um, I had a boyfriend who literally wanted to kill me, right, he didn't, but in the heat of the moment, I knew, the whole life flashing before your eyes thing, it happened, except it wasn't my life, it was my country's life. The past in black and white, the future in color. Everything you're against, that's kind of what you end up doing, right? All these people who are, have like anti-masturbation leagues or whatever, they're the ones who end up getting caught in public, right? Whatever people are against is the thing they're most likely to do. And I was talking to some friends about this once and I was like, well, I'm not really against anything except Trump. So, what am I most hypocritical thing to do? Sleep with Trump. That's not going to happen. I'm not going to meet him. And I'm not hot enough for him anyway. And, ew, I would never sleep with Trump. But then this one guy I dated, he was very narcissistic. And I didn't realize it at first. Because he was kind of charming. Like, in a socially awkward way. He was kind of cute and nerdy and charming and very narcissistic. This is the one who told me I should have thanked him for working because I'm living in the lap of luxury on disability. Yeah, that, that's what I'm doing. And in the heat of the moment, I, when I knew he wanted to kill me and I saw life flash before my eyes, my country, time didn't make sense. All of it happened in a nanosecond and it was narrated like my dreams are, but this wasn't a dream. It said, short fuse, thin skin, and an arsenal of weapons. And I realized in that moment, I had actually slept with Trump. The most hypocritical thing I could have done. The only thing I'm against. I mean, I'm, I'm not against a lot. I'm not for a lot of things. I don't like a lot of things. But I'm not really adamantly against anything except him. And careful what you're against. Because that's, you often end up doing it. But that friend, who I lost because she tried to tell me that I could have prevented being raped, she was like, well, you know, I, I understand that you were with that guy when he wanted to kill you and he, because you loved him. And I was like, actually, I didn't. I had just moved into the home and felt like I was trapped and he owned a house. So I dated him because I felt trapped. I didn't, I hadn't quite accepted yet that it was my body keeping me trapped and not the assisted living. I've accepted it now. I know it's my body. But she was okay with it because I loved him. Even though I, I didn't really, I did love his kid though. I still think about that kid daily. But that other guy, I actually had feelings for and, until he raped me, of course, that I was over him, obviously. But... I could have chosen better. I could have prevented it. It was my fault. I shouldn't have met him online. It shouldn't have been our... I should have waited longer than our second date. It was my fault. My fault. My fault. What's the difference? Why is wanting to kill me, me not choosing the wrong man? But someone raping me, I chose the wrong man. Why is everything about sex women's fault? That everything about 
purity and being a good person is tied to chastity for women, not for men. I hate the double standard. So again, this is my therapy and I, I'll stop thinking about this dude pretty soon and one of these days I won't say everything I think. But until that day, enjoy my stream of consciousness.